Hello friends, how is everybody today? Oh, again, I'm on the mend, I'm feeling so much better. I just can't get warm today, and I, it's only like 42 degrees outside, so I'm just chilled today. So I'm drinking hot cocoa. I just made the hot cocoa video for those of you that have been questioning it. So I made a new one for you. And I'll put the recipe right in there. Anyway, I haven't done much in the last few days. I have been spending so much time with my grandkids. We've been having a ball. And I took them the other day. I got them from school to, well, my little Tootsie Belle, they go to different schools, different school districts. But she was out of school for like four days with pink eye. They had a pink eye outbreak at school. And um, so she was out of school. So I had her most of the week. And um, little Nene was out of school one day. But Friday when I picked um, little Stella Bell up from school, we went into Manistee and we, you know, we, I had to go get my, do a couple errands anyway. And uh, I thought, well, you know, let's go to Goodwill and see what they got going on there. So we're in Goodwill and I'm, you know me, I'm tightwad. I'll just be, you know, looking for, for unique stuff or real, real inexpensive items that I could use. So anyway, we're in Goodwill and we're having a ball in there and the little girl said, Stella and Sadie said to me, um, hey, Nana, we just want to go look at the toys and go look around for a little bit and do our own thing. And I'm like, okay, you know, we're in Goodwill. You're fine. They're, they're old enough. They're not going to get into trouble or anything like that. So they did. And we were, I was looking through the, you know, the pots and pans and all that good stuff. And they were over by the toys. Well, I come around the corner. Oh, my God. It was so funny. I come around the corner and here's my little Stella. She's got a cart, and she's got it heaping full. She's got shoes and purses and um, clothes for her and for Cece and for Nene, and she's got scarves and mittens and hats and stuffed animals and toys. <laughs> it was literally hanging over the edges of the cart. I wished I would, and I didn't have my camera or my phone with me because I'll tell you what, I should have took a picture because you'd have died laughing. I said, Stella, what the heck are you doing with all that stuff? Oh, Nana, we need all this stuff at home. Look at this. It's a good deal. Well, she probably had $100 worth of stuff in the cart. I said, no, Stella, we can't do that. Oh, my God, she was so funny. Everything in there, she needed it for her babies, for her sissy, for, for Nene, clothes. I mean, she's our little fashionista, too. And uh, it's like Lou says. She could rock out a pair of farmer bib overalls with a tutu. She She's hilarious. She's the one that's got all the beads in my trees because they're pretty. Absolutely tears me up. Well, when you take her shopping, it's a riot. Anyway, to say the least, I got I got out of there. I, I got her down to like five or six items from that cart. Oh, my God. So she got jewelry and a couple of shirts and a couple of toys and a purse and a journal. And, oh, she had fun. Color books. Anyway. And then, which I don't do very often at all, probably twice a year. I took them to McDonald's and got them a Happy Meal. And holy cow, is those fast food places are out real unreal they're expensive I couldn't believe that it's I almost wanted to just go to the store and make them the burgers so and then we got an anyone because she couldn't go with us she had pink eyes so we picked her up a happy meal and we we got her some goodies at Goodwill too so but they all had fun and they're an absolute riot and I missed them while I was sick, so I had a ball with them. And then my mom, that coke was fantastic. And then my mom and I, and uh, Nene was staying the weekend with my mom. So we went out to eat dinner. My mother treated us to dinner at um, House of Flavors in uh, Manistee. And then we had to go over to Meyer and get a few things. 
Well, when my mom dropped me off, because we all rode together, she dropped me off, and then her and Nene headed on to her house, which she's only like 15 minutes away. It's not, it's not that far. It's just a hop, skip, and a holler, really. Anyway, there was an accident, a really bad accident, between my house and hers on, on our main drag here. So she had to take a detour. Well, it only takes you about 15 minutes to get to my mother's house, but it took her and Nanny an hour and a half to get home because they got lost. I said, how in the world did you get lost? <laughs> you lived here all your life. She says it was dark and they kept telling me to go down this dirt road and this dirt road, make a left and a right and another left. And she says, and I just got lost. She said, and I finally got home. I think she called me at 1030 last night. That They finally got home. And she said, Nene finally recognized where they were and, and got her home. She says, I think we'd still be out there driving. So anyway, <clears throat> my cough is just lingering a little bit. Not too bad. But I wanted to, I got to start baking stuff. But, you know, I got one, two, three turkeys in my freezer that are taking up a heck of a lot of room. So I might have to take a couple of them or maybe all three of them up to my mom's and put them in her little freezer that she's got in her garage. And, uh, I don't know why I'm yawning. Put them in her garage so I have more room in my freezer because i got to start doing my Christmas cookies. And, um, I wanted to do, I wanted to do, um, make-ahead meals. Like, you know, the stuffing balls and the uh, sweet potatoes and some of your make-ahead dishes that you can freeze the make-ahead dinner dinner rolls and stuff like that and do some videos on them. but friends i don't have any room in my freezer my freezer is jam packed especially with those three turkeys in there so if i can get those three turkeys to my mother's and put them in her freezer that will you know open up some room for me to do those other videos that I want to do. Otherwise, that'll be something I will do, but it'll be for like Christmas time. It'll be for Christmas if I don't get the room. Because I have been busy packing that freezer. I can't get another thing. And I, I thought I was going to have to sit on it to shut it. It's crazy. Anyway, so I did a little cocoa video today to show you, you know, an easy way to make cocoa. I just whip it all in a jar and shake it up. You're good to go. And then um, I'm making yogurt because while I was sick, I had to take really strong antibiotics. And, you know, they just tear your insides up. <coughs> they kill everything. All bacteria, good, bad, indifferent, whatever. So I'm really out of balance and it poses a problem. We all know that. So I'm going to do, may, I have to make myself some yogurt. I would like to make kefir, but I don't have the ingredients to make the kefir, which I'll do that in a video some point in time. That's a little pricey to make. Anyway, so I got a gallon of milk and I'm going to do yogurt because I know my mother always loves it when I make yogurt too. And I'm going to do that in a video and show you how easy that is to do. And hopefully I'll get a little bit of a balance put back in my belly from that. Also, I have to do the, um, we did the turkey soup. You will see that probably next week, I think I have that scheduled to come up with uh, Bevy Lou and I did a roasted turkey veggie soup and we canned it. So you'll see that. And uh, I do have to do the, um, I got two beautiful big butternut squash. These are huge, I'll show you. I got two of these. Bevy gave me this big one because she wants me to can it up for her. But she doesn't want the cranberries in it because she don't like cranberries. So I'm going to can it for her. But, but this one, when I chopped up, I'm going to do this for my mom and dad. And I'm going to put the cranberries in. I'm going to do it according to how uh, Sutton's Days did it. Lisa from Sutton's Days. I think they're going to love it with the cranberries in it. So I'm going to do a video on that. I'm going to be doing that this afternoon. And uh, I'm going to whip my yogurt together this afternoon because that has to sit for about 18 hours and uh, before that's ready. And then I'm just doing my chit-chat, updating everybody. The chickens are doing good. The baby chicks are getting big. And uh, the chickens out in the coop are doing fantastic. They're all getting along. And that little Crackers, the duck, she's just in her glory out there. I, You know, and somebody said to me, can't you put a little... 
a tub of water out there for her? I can't. I can't do that in the wintertime in that coop because it, the, the moisture from it, the chickens, it, 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 it's not a good thing to do. And I can't put that outside because I really can't let her outside right now, you know, because she's just new to this place. But hopefully she's going to have to be like that just for the winter. But she's doing just fine in there. And she flips and flops and plays around in the water dish. So that's about all the water she gets to play in. And the other day it rained and rained and we had so much rain. We had Lake Wayna again out in our driveway. And I thought, gosh, too bad I couldn't just let her out. And she can flit and flutter around in that water. She'd probably be, be in her glory. But I didn't. I'm afraid to let her out yet because they haven't been, I haven't had them that long. And they haven't been up, you know, in the coop long enough that she might, if she flew off or wandered off, she might not come back. So I just got to protect them. Anyway, otherwise, they're doing good. I got the solar light put in there. I got two big, you know, they always have five, six, seven gallons of water in that coop. And I've got like 17 chickens in there and a duck. So they got a plenty of water. I change it out almost every day, mostly every other day, unless it's really cold. I give them fresh water daily. But uh, they're doing good in there. And I'm, and I'm glad and they're saved and <laughs> they're happy and they're eating like crazy so um i'm already looking around for when i went to when we were in myers yesterday i was already starting to shop around for um toys and stuff for the little kids for christmas and uh, they got some neat stuff but man are their toys they're so expensive and and the quality is not like it was when we were little I don't get it, boy. I don't know. You know, I love, for our grandson, I was hoping that I could find, um, you can find them, but they're ungodly expensive, and they'd be considered vintage antiques, the old Tonka trucks. I love those things. And we got the little grandson, Alaric, he would just absolutely love them. And my other grandson, Dean, he would love them too. He'd love to have one of them, I'm quite sure. But the ones now, they're, they're just not the same. Not like they, they used to be. That reminds me. When I was out driving semi, you'd see the flatbedders coming through. And their flatbed would be empty. We called them a skateboard, you know, because their, their flatbed was empty. But uh, I saw a guy out there the one time he was driving his flatbed. And he had a little Tonka truck strapped to the back of his flatbed. It was hilarious. I always think of that. It just tears me out. That was the cutest thing to see out there, that him hauling around that little Tonka truck. <laughs> it was just a funny. Anyway, so not much else going on. Um, I think everybody's over being sick. It's just little remnants are lingering now. But thank God it was before the, the holidays. And John is going to miss Thanksgiving with us, but... We're gonna have it the weekend that he's home, so he's down in he's down in uh, Georgia right now, um, going through the training class to be a trainer because he's he's trained people how to drive semi before many times, but they always make you go through a class and another. It was funny because he said I gotta go I gotta take a driving test, and I'm like, what do you mean you gotta take a driving What do you gotta take a driving test for? He said because they gotta make sure I know how to drive to train somebody else and I'm like um oh, that's just the oddest thing because he's already he owns his own truck he's already you know took a driving test through through the company he's working for I said John if you if you're <laughs> I says if you made it this far and not know how to drive that truck I said something's wrong that's too funny it just struck me funny that they would have a, an owner op take a test and they've already took a driving test oh well i don't know how, how somebody how they have to take a road test well it's probably dot required too but they have to take a road test when you go no matter what company you go to work for no matter how long you've driven any company that you start working for you have to take a, a road test 
they have to have it on file for DOT. So the company where he bought his semi, he had to take a road test when he started in there. And then he, you know, he, he purchased the semi and uh, now he's going to train people how to drive. So they'll, they'll be students with him every three weeks. He'll get a student. Well, he had to go to this class. It's like train a trainer or whatever they want to call it. But anyway, they have to do another road test for that class. It just is odd. But it might be something for the DOT. Who knows? Because obviously they, they know he knows how to drive. He wouldn't be in, in their truck. So that just is funny. Anyway, it's sun shining out, but it's chilly out. 42 degrees, and I did tell you that. But it's sunshine, and we've had a lot of sunshine these last couple days. I wanted to go up to um, Lake City while it was nice out and go to the, um, what is it? That Amish store over there. I forget the name of it at the moment. Pineview? Pineview. Anyway, <coughs> I wanted to go up there last week, but I didn't get a chance to go up there last week because I had Tootsie Bell with Pink Eye. And, uh, I thought after that, I thought I'd come up this weekend, but that's not going to work either. So I got a few groceries at Meyer that were on sale. I don't need, I really don't need anything, first off. Look at my, my, my freezer, you almost have to sit on it to shut it. My pantry is packed. I mean, you know, I could, I could get a little more canned goods, you know, store-bought canned goods, but I really don't need anything. I'm all set right now. So I thought, you know what, I'll just wait on it because I did get a couple of other things that, you know, really weren't in the budget, but I just, I grabbed them because it was other things that I needed. So it's all good. I can go another day when it's nice out because it's like 50, 50, it takes you about, I think it's 50 miles. So it takes, takes pretty close to an hour to get there. And in the wintertime with bad roads, it'd take even longer. Well, I won't go over there in the wintertime with bad roads, first off. They'd have to be all bare roads and it'd have to be sun shining out. Because I don't, I don't like driving. And listen to me, I, I'm, I'm a semi driver. Well, I haven't driven semi in a while, but, and I don't like driving in the winter time. I drove through mountains of snow, mountains. I'm a seasoned driver. I just don't like driving a little car in the winter. So, and my Jeep's got to get fixed because I don't know what it is, but it's got a new. Um, water pump and it's got a new radiator but there's antifreeze coming out somewhere because it's all over the motor well not all over the motor not saturated but it's like there's a drip maybe getting caught in a fan and it's flinging it all over so I gotta my son said oh, I'll bring it up to where he works and he'll do a pressure test on it and find out where it's leaking but so I can't really drive it other than maybe to the store and back. And right now my daughter's got the other car, our other vehicle, because hers is in the shop. So, yeah, I don't, I, I, I can't take it much of any, not very far. Now, I took it yesterday to run up to the dump and get rid of all our garbage, because every Saturday we got, our garbage is included in our taxes. So every Saturday when the dump opens, we can take all our stuff up there. And nice for me, it's only a, maybe a mile and a half down the road. That's what's nice. And you don't have to sit in line because it's just for the, you know, the village pretty much. Anyway, I'm just a jabbering. I did a lot of cleaning yesterday. I scrubbed and cleaned my house, which is already scrubbed and cleaned. When you're home 24-7, you know, your house can only get, you can only clean so much. But I, I rearranged and cleaned out underneath my two cabinets, one where I keep my uh, Tupperware and my big bowls and stuff like that, and my roaster pans, and then the other one where I've got my cake pans, my pie tins, and my little bowls that I use for cooking and baking. So I straightened all those out. So those look really nice. And, uh... It took me a little bit. Cleaned out my fridge, which that never takes long because my fridge don't get bad anyway. So, 
the only thing I had in there was when I give my chickens I save the scraps for my chickens but you know people look at my fridge and say well what the heck is that that's for the chickens what's it doing in your refrigerator well they don't want to eat rotten food so any you know my my because I take it out once a day to them so I have vegetable scraps and all kinds of scraps that I, I keep in a dish and I just put a little lid on it and I keep it in the fridge so it stays it doesn't you know get icky that way they can have fresh scraps and uh so I did all that yesterday. I took some of the stuff that was in the fridge, like some of the berries and stuff that were getting a little too soft to eat. I, I put in there because they will eat that. And uh, stuff like that. I just putzed around. I love putzing in my house. I have got to, to get in here in the pantry again and go through and wipe stuff down because it's probably as dusty as can be. And uh, I didn't do it last month. That's... Every month, faithfully, I usually come in here and I check on my lids and I wipe everything down. You know, I mean, I vacuum and dust more than once a month, but my jars is what I do once a month. Well, last month I didn't do it. And then I was, I was so doggone sick, or yeah, last month. And then I was sick this month. So I've got to get in there. But I haven't heard any ping, and I haven't, there's there's no foul smell, so, you know, everything's probably safe. It's just that I feel I neglect it when I don't get in here once a month to check on it and rotate it and keep everything, you know, up to par in here. So, I'll get to it. As soon as I get the stuff, the canning done and my yogurt made, maybe tomorrow I'll putz around in my pantry. Maybe I'll do a video. So anyway, not a whole lot else going on. Um, I think I'm going to go because I got my yogurt I want to put together and I want to do that in a video. And then I know it's it, it doesn't take much to can these two. It isn't going to, it's not like I got a whole bushel of them to can, but I'm going to put these up in jars and I'll show you that. I'm going to do a video on that too. So... Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go get busy getting my stuff done. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. My daughter is a hoot. I said to my daughter, because I was sick, you know, I had that pneumonia and I looked like I got luggage under my eyes. When you get sick, you get bags and black circles and you just look like somebody beat the holy crap out of you. So... They're getting better, though. I mean, a lot of it's just from age, you know, unfortunately. It's a booger getting old. But when you're sick, it's so enhanced and it's worse. And I told my daughter, I said, sweetie, I said, when you go to Myers, I said, pick me up something for my under eyes so that, it, you know, something that'll cover up a little bit of that dark circles and make me a little look a little more vibrant, you know. And she says, oh, I got the perfect thing for you. And she brings in cement powder. <laughs> I said, are you kidding me? It probably would work and fill in everything. Oh, my gosh, Bevy, you're a riot. Anyway, she was teasing me because she, she didn't know I was going to ask for um, a cover-up. And uh, she had bought this at Goodwill for a dollar. And it's um, a red-orange cement powder for cement color. So, because we're going to do stepping stones with cement and some, you know, some things with cement. So whenever she finds the color, she'll grab it. And this, this is full. And it was a dollar. So I bet these are a heck of a lot more than a dollar. Brand new. But anyway, that's what she did to me, that little stinker. She hands me that and she says, here, this will cover it up. <laughs> My girls are a riot. All right, friends, I'm done with my cocoa. That was good. That video is going to be coming up, so make sure you try that because that stuff is fantastic. And I do tell you in the video, um, a lot of times when you get this dry milk, you know, I keep talking and I say I got to go, but that's all right. I want to tell you this because you'll see this before you see the cocoa video. But when you get the, the non-fat milk and I get... I get it, you know, right down here. And uh, it's really, I guess it'd be easier to show you. 
you can see it's kind of like a coarse powder it's got little it's like little balls in there okay so when you when you mix up your cocoa mix and you mix it all together and then you put your your hot water in there for some reason this doesn't dissolve entirely and it gets you get these little beady things in the bottom of your cup so beady things listen to me it's like beads in the bottom of your cup almost like a tapioca okay so as what I do to fix that or to eliminate that is I take this before I use it well if I use it for cocoa I will put it in the um, my food processor and I will grind it down to into an even finer powder and then it works well in your cocoa mixes in your Swiss mocha mixes and all your you know all your instant drinks it works well in there as long as you grind it down into a finer powder then you won't have that the beads in the bottom so just kind of a little tip on that and I do tell you that in a video I just don't explain it completely so with that being said I'm gonna go get my stuff done because I got a lot of stuff to do and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a wonderful weekend.